it's Friday, June the 2, 2023. Another hot one. I think the official temperature here says about 29C, although I think it feels like about a thousand. It, the sun is so hot. It's, it's so just, uh, it's just burning. It's so hot. Um, let me show you this. This will give you an idea. There's some little nukes that I brought home. Well, I don't remember what day it was. It was, I think it was Friday. I think it was a week ago. Um, or maybe it was Saturday. I think it was Saturday. And uh, I brought them home and said to the customer, okay, come and get your bees. Oh, well, we'll be there a week from Sunday. Hopefully they last till Sunday. And I can hardly see the screen at all. <laughs> And so I think you're looking at my apiary here. And uh, I just feel like I need to give my apiary some attention. There's, there's some colonies here. You can see there's some doubles. We've doubled up on a few. They're strong. And I need to make sure that I don't let those get too strong uh, and start to start into swarming. I want to preserve bees and brood, um, particularly because a week tomorrow I'm hosting a, a a novice queen rearing um, workshop here. I don't know how many people are going to be here, but sometimes those can be fairly well attended, like 50 people or something. Um, and I'm I'm no master queen rearing, and, and that's why I specify novice queen rearing. Um, all I want to do with the attendees is if they're not raising queens, that I, I want to kind of convince them that they should be, and they sort of step them through what's required and, and some methods that might work for them because to me if you're not raising your own queens there's something about it that you think is is too difficult for you or it's beyond the grasp of of your one colony or two colonies and i don't accept those excuses at all if you don't want to do it that's fine but most people if you're beekeepers people are beekeepers that they, they don't you know they like doing all this stuff so I would just want to help people out, convince them that, yeah, you can do it. And then you're not going to be that person in August, you know, scouring the social media and, and forums and stuff. Oh my God, my queen died and, you know, I need a queen. Uh, it, it can take so much stress out of your life just to raise yourself a couple queens. And, uh, you know, then you've got them. You've got them in the wings, so to speak. So... Having said that, um, how that relates to here is, I don't want to pull down these big ones that I have, I don't want to pull them down right now, um, but I'm afraid if I leave them for another week, then, you know, so I have to do something with them. Maybe I'll pull some brood um, or something. I'd like to demonstrate making the cell builder uh, in front of the, the class, in front of the people, because that's kind of the, um, you know that's the one of the excuses i i hear is well i don't have enough bees to you know make a cell builder well i think you do um maybe the methods you've seen you might not have enough but uh you know there are methods that you can use that you don't need you know as long as you got one strong colony you can still do it uh so anyway but on the other hand if I need to prepare and do things a week in advance for the class, I want to make sure I do that today or tomorrow. Tomorrow's going to be busy. I've got pickups, new pickups uh, scheduled for tomorrow. Uh, so anyway, I'm kind of rambling at that. But I think what I'm going to do here today is I will take a peek in some of these larger ones, but mostly my attention is on these singles here. Uh, not the, not the pro-nuke boxes. Those are the new colonies, uh, but the singles. Um, because those are the ones that, you know, just haven't really caught on. And I might have to call them, I might have to, they might, they might be dead outs, um, uh, do something else with them. So I just want to poke in there. You saw me just the other day, I was going through the, the nukes, and that's exactly what I want to do with these singles and see what's going on. Because uh, probably some of them, if they do, uh, if they are allowed to live, uh, they likely come out of those 10 frame boxes and free those up. So that's today. I guess the camera wasn't recording, so I'll repeat. Um, I'm just going to check on a couple here that my 
my wife was working on the other day um, and it just got late and we were played out and all that so she was checking some of these that actually look pretty good look better than many and this one definitely they're definitely doing the job so we just want to make sure they're not plugged out we don't need bees hitting the trees ever but this year boy is it ever more important right now There's a bit of open space there, but they're bringing in a, a little honey flow right now. And there's brood right here. So, uh, yeah, they are definitely, uh, well, I don't know how far the brood nest, sometimes the brood nest is right here, but if the brood nest extends very far. Come on, I'm trying to be nice. Uh, then we're gonna have a pretty serious colony here. There's lots of brood there. Lots of brood there. I should be going from the other way. It's sure uh, much easier to manage when it's hot. In so many ways the wax and propolis is so soft. Okay, there's no brood there. There's no eggs. Okay. There's no brood or eggs there. But, oh, no, there's none there. That's nectar. So I'll probably swap these around. Put that one on the outside. Keep the nectar as far from the nest as I can. I mean, they all do that. It's just a little extra work for them. I'll get that out there. And when she goes to lay, she can get right to work. It's just heavy as well. Are they just making honey? Is that all they're doing? That's brood. Okay, so we got a five frame nest. Strips are always a pain. I'm gonna put this heavy one on the outside here. And this one's pretty light. Is it lighter than these? I wanna put the lightest one next to the nest. Um, boy, I'm tempted to give them a second box. I think in this warm weather that uh, might be the right choice. That was a second box. It was only got four frames in it. I'll have to get some more. I don't know how far I'm gonna go with this today. I've actually, um, I kinda got two rows left if you assume that, you know, I've done one row here. 
Um, I forgot to bring my water bottle out, so I need to go back and get it. I'm just, I'm just faltering here. It's so hot. And, uh, and maybe I'll come back and do some more. We'll see. I gotta shut it down and go on an errand this evening, so I don't wanna work too late. I'm gonna close this off and uh, bid you a good day. Take care, have fun, and have fun with your bees. <laughs>